So here we're going to start out with a new project in Sony Vegas. Hopefully this shows up well enough on the screen. First thing we need to do is click File and then New and make sure we have the right settings for our project here. In my case I'm going to use the HDV 1080-60i template because that's what format I'm shooting with my Canon camera here. Um, in your case you might use one of the other settings like the 720x480 settings since that's what you're really working with. Um, there's this pre-rendered files folder here. I always like to move it somewhere else instead of on my C drive. So I have a directory here called Sony Vegas pre-rendered files and I'm going to put that in. Because that's where I want it to go, not on my C drive. <coughs> you select a template, the audio will be selected to appropriate setting for the template you pick. And these other settings you don't really need to worry too much about. So we'll say OK. Now the Explorer window down here at the bottom, or maybe at the top on your screen depending how you have it configured because there's an option to set the screen. I like the, the timeline at the top and the other windows at the bottom, but you can have it either way. But in this Explorer tab, this is where you go find your directory where your movies are and find your video clips. <clears throat> now depending how you captured your movie, you may have just one video clip here or you may have several. This particular movie I'm going to put on here just has the one, one piece to it. Um, so if you just saw that I drag that up from the Explorer window up to the timeline here. And that's how it gets added to the timeline. Right now it's building the uh, audio waveform there so you can see it now. It's, that's showing up. You can see there's a little preview window down in this corner. And also if you have a second monitor like I do, you can actually have a nice full screen preview on your other monitor over here, which is hard to appreciate here because it's just kind of a black image right now, but the preview monitor is definitely the way to have it. So the play button down here will start playing your movie. Stop will stop it, pause will pause, and so on. And you can see there's the video track and the audio track up here. And there's settings over to the left here for things like muting a track or soloing a track. There's also settings for adding effects to a track. So there's a lot of things you can do with that. Okay, so where to really start with things? Um, there's a timeline cursor up here. You can see this. That, you know, sort of sets your position within the timeline and determines what you'll see on the preview window. And you can drag that back and forth to find a particular spot. If you wanted to split the video apart at a certain location, you put that cursor right at the spot where you want it to split and press the letter S. And now, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this has been split into two separate pieces. There's the first part over here, and then the second part over here. So that's how you can cut a scene into pieces. The wheel key on your mouse zooms in and out on the timeline, so if you wanted to get in close, like to, you know, look at individual frames or whatever, you can spin the mouse wheel here and zoom in on it. 
And then likewise, you can spin the mouse wheel the other way and zoom out. If you wanted to put in a transition effect between two scenes, you saw where I split these apart here. If you push that so it overlaps by a certain amount, and it'll tell you how much your overlap is in here. Like I just overlapped that by one second now. Now I can go down here to transitions, to the transitions tab down at the bottom. And there's a variety of different transitions you can use. And so what you would do is select a particular transition that you like, and then drag it up and put it right in that overlap area. And then this adjustment window will appear. And you can use this the, the uh, timeline cursor here to move back and forth within your scene to see how your transition effect is playing out. And you can adjust settings in here to affect how the transition plays out, including down here you can add keyframes to control how the transition plays out. And if I turn this over to my preview monitor here, you'll be able to see that this transition I added makes the, the two scenes kind of split apart like that and one goes behind the other. I guess unfortunately this video I've picked to work with here is kind of dark so you can't really see the video itself. Maybe I should try adding a different clip that has something a little more exciting to see in it.